Hello friends, welcome to Technical RPM. So this video we are going to talk about. So what are the in blue prism? What are the ways we can achieve filtering or create queues using automatic.exe? So what are the issues we faced in blue prism related to queues and how we can achieve those issues through automatic.exe so everyone knows so how automatic.exe will work on it so automatic.exe for example we have some production issues so so we are thinking which means related to work queues and scheduling so instead of scheduling from control room i can schedule a batch job from Automate C.exe using my single sign on, which means my username and my password with authentication details. So I can schedule a job, I can create a queue, I can filter a queue. So these are all the details I can do through Automate C.exe. Apart from control room, we can achieve many things related to scheduling and queue related things in automatic C.exe. Here the issue is, so this is somewhat the user has some issue and he has given command so I can take in it and creating for solution for it. So the thing is, he is planning to create a filter data of work queue for the last 24 hours of his production data. So how he is planning to take the filter data from work queue through automatic.exe but it's not working. So what is the um, solution for this? The automatic.exe will work with SSO single sign-on. The single sign-on you have to use whether your active directory username or password or else your single sign-on with username and password authentication with windows or else sql authentications the second thing is so what is the queue name you, you are going to achieve the queue name and the third thing is so what is the what is and where you want to ex extract the data of the filtered which is having last 24 hours or whatever it may be so so these are all the locations you have to give so once you can give these details if you run from automate if you run automate c.exe it will create you see it will it will it will give you a export queue for your data also you if you can create queue through command line library as well here you can see the same queue name and queue filter and uh, as well as so what is the format here i need csv format so your filter data will give us a csv format here so we can create batch jobs perfectly and scheduling is perfect so so how automatic.exe works so if you are if you are running the command through automatic.exe it will create a separate queue and it will create a separate session for the scheduling. That session will make a impact and this session will create a queue and as well as this session will help uh, to scheduling the jobs. So whenever you run through automatic.exe, it will create a separate session. So that's what automatic.exe will happen and will do something in backend. So actually the second one is, is it possible to start and stop your blue prism process from external system using automated C.exe? Also you can do one more thing, you can start and stop your blue prism process using automated C.exe. So we can see how it can be achievable. See actually uh, that we discussed earlier, so every time if you run the automated C.exe it will create a session ID. So output from starting a process is the session ID. Automate C.exe 
exists output resource session id and you have to check the status of the process and you have to request a hard or soft stop so maybe you can do immediate stop or else request stop there is two two stops immediate stop is hard and request stop is soft stop the command line interface whatever you are doing the command line interface which we discussed earlier it need authentication of sso whether active directory or else your windows or sql authentication so through automate c.exe you can start and stop your blue prism process as well using your active directory sso so what else we can show is there a way to create a queue other than through the system workflow work queues usually we are creating queues through workflow work queues but here you can create queue through automate c.exe as well here you can see automate c.exe you can create a command line utility like create queue what is the field and what is running and what would be the max attempts so if we give these details for example you can see here c colon program files so this is the this is your um automate c will located c colon program files blue prism meter blue prism automate automate c.ex sometimes it will happen inside the c colon program files x86 as well it's very rare but usually it will have it c colon program files so you have to give user name and password sso and db connection what is the db which name which name and and you have to mention create queue with key and queue name so if you give these are all the details you will it will create a queue for instead of going workflow or queues so this this is like a command line utility in cmd so whatever you are typing so it will be achievable right the same way automate c dot exe as well achievable you can create as well if you are using sso then probably the same but automate c dot exe with the sso and the db connection which is data source name and the same option which you have using create queue key field name and